Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to connect to your WordPress hosting package using SFTP so you can see your website files. It's quite simple and um, to start with you just need to log into your fast host control panel which is where I am now and then we're going to go to WordPress hosting and then click on the package you want to connect to using SFTP. If you've only got one package you won't see, you'll just see it here. If you've got multiple uh, you'll see a Let's see all of them. I've just got two, but I'm going to go on fhexample.co.uk. Now we're going to scroll down and we need this advanced options area being expanded. Scroll down to the bottom here and we've got the SSH slash SFTP details here. Uh, you can connect using SSH if you want. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, I'm going to be connecting using SFTP and you'll need uh, to use a client such as FileZilla and just that's just a sort of an app that will allow you to or an app or a program that will allow you to connect to your website files. Like I so said, I'm using FileZilla. I would probably recommend FileZilla. Um, it's by Mozilla and it's free, so it's a it's a really accessible one if you need a client an SF, an FTP client. Once it's open, we're going to open a new connection. So go to File, Site Manager, and we're going to enter some more details here. So I need to go to a new site and WordPress. Probably want to be more sort of descriptive if you've got multiple domains, but I'm going to know what that is for now. Protocol is going to be SFTP. Now host, let's go back to here and we can see the IT, uh, the IP address is just here. So I'm going to go and copy that. You can also use the, uh, the host address, but generally speaking, the IP address is always going to work as there's no DNS involved. You can leave the port blank, log on type, ask for password is fine and username is going to be, uh, if we click on this button here, temporary credentials. And it generates temporary details for you to use that expire after 48 hours. The uh, reason they expire after 48 hours is if you're using WordPress, you're probably not going to be in FTP all that often. And it's just a bit more secure. So the username is this one here. And I'm on a laptop touchpad, so it's not the most precise. Um, and we just pop that in there and now we can connect and what should hopefully happen yeah, it's asking for the password now get the password from there copy that paste it in there and with any luck it's going to connect ah this is a, this so this is just saying it's an unknown host key um, there's nothing to worry about as long as you're connecting to the IP address or the host name that was shown in the temp in the um, in the control panel there that's fine um, you can if you want to trust it so you don't always have to click OK here you can tick that box but I'm gonna leave it for now and hopefully it should connect yep there we go so now I'm connected to my web space and I can browse all the files in my WordPress hosting package and that's all there is to it Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.